What is going on guys, this is Jim from Locality Boss. Welcome back to another video on my channel. In today's video, I wanna introduce you to another locality I've just recently added to my collection. In my hand, I have my beautiful female Ikidos Peruvian True Red Tail Boa that my good friend Udo Wagner from True Locality Jewels produced last year. And I was lucky enough to get his hold back paired. And there's been a lot of stuff going on and I've got some animals, got rid of some animals. And uh, that's why I couldn't really upload videos lately, but I will uh, start to upload more now as uh, we approach winter time. With that being said, let's get right into this video. Ikeda's Peruvian Red Tail Boss are uh, ball constrictor constrictors, so they are true red tail ball constrictors, as you can see. They have those beautiful red tails. I don't think they're as long as the Suriname red tails when I compare them, but they're just as pretty and they have this uh, really cool yellow undertone. This animal is only about a year old, so the yellows only start to come out now. You can already see some nice coloration going on in this female. She has a really clean pattern, but she has a really speckled belly as well. She's really, really pretty. I don't know if you can see, but she has this uh, amazing uh, head shape and she has this, you know, stripe um, on top of her head, which I think is really cool. Uh, the male is different. I think he even shows more yellow coloration already, uh, but you will see when I pull him out later. The main focus of my collection is on True Red Tail Boss. That's what I uh, focus on now, since I can't keep too many snakes uh, because of space and time. I started to focus only on the True Red Tail Boss. So currently I keep uh, Guyana Red Tail Boss, Surinams, I keep uh, North Brazilians and I keep those Iquitos. And then I also have my uh, group of Ball Constrictor Amarale Short Tail Boss. That's what I currently work with. I have some things in planning for the next year, but as of right now, I'm raising up my small group of uh, true red tail boss to hopefully reproduce them in the future and make sure to have more of these beautiful animals available. But they will definitely need another five or six years since I really grow them up slow and I feed them slow and steady so they can uh, really live up to their full potential. This animal is really amazing. She was definitely a standout from the litter. Peruvian true red tail boas are the largest uh, boa constrictors, at least the pure locality boas. Uh, they can easily reach a, a size from about 10 feet, whereas the majority of animals stays around eight feet, with the females being larger than the males as well. So these will get pretty large. I think the mother is above three meters, so about 10 feet, which is a pretty decent size for a boa. If you get them as young babies and you got them used to handling, they will become really, really tame animals. But a uh, 10 foot boar is definitely not for everyone, so make sure you keep that in mind when you uh, buy any of these really cute baby boars. They will grow up pretty fast, so I believe in two years this girl will probably surpass two meters, which is about six, seven, so we will see. I currently feed her every 10 days, and uh, this litter was really amazing because there was not one animal that uh, regurgitated, there was not one animal that ever uh, ate live, so they ate uh, frozen thaw right off the gate, so uh, that's pretty amazing. And that definitely speaks for the bloodline and the quality of these animals, on top of them being uh, really, really pretty, as you can see. So I'll pull out the male now. So this is my male Akitos Peruvian boa, just like the female I showed you, they are from a, a litter of unrelated Akitos Peruvian boas. What's really nice about him is that he's even more clean than the female. He really has hardly any speckling going on and I hope that these, you know, large saddles will fill out to be pitch black and, you know, this really cool yellow undertone is coming out when they get older. So I'm really, really excited for them to grow up and change their colors, but already show really cool potential. As you can see, the male is just like the female, really handleable, not aggressive at all, not head shy or anything like that. And they eat well, they grow well, and they're already acclimated to their uh, new enclosure. So I'm really happy to have them in my collection. I'll hopefully be successful reproducing these one day. It's definitely a goal of mine to reproduce these balls since they're so amazing and still pretty hard to combine captivity. You won't see as many 
uh, Ikiro's Peruvians as, let's say, Suriname or Guyana boss. And uh, I think that's pretty sad because they make wonderful pets. Obviously not for everyone, since they are a little bit harder to care for and get pretty large. So make sure you do your research before you get any of these animals. But to me, they are amazing, amazing snakes and one of the most beautiful boars there are in captivity. Last thing I want to talk about in this video, since uh, most of you probably noticed before that Facebook is deleting a lot of groups that are reptile related, especially when it comes to, you know, the community guidelines and selling animals, offering animals for sale or, you know, posting feeding videos and stuff like that. So they've become pretty sensitive when it comes to that. And some groups may even be deleted without any of the rules being violated, but they still delete them anyways. There is definitely other ways for us to communicate because my good friend Udo, where I got my Ikidos Peruvians from, opened a um, platform which is called uh, Pure Locality Boss. I will link it below. You can register in this uh, platform for free and you can post the pictures of your animals. You can ask questions, you can keep in touch with other breeders and you can also sell animals there or offer animals for sale or um, you know, ask for animals if you're looking for a specific locality, um, you will find it there. As of right now, our uh, Facebook group with uh, more than 7,000 uh, people is still online and still working great and we still want you to join that so I'll link that below as well. But we are already looking for alternatives once, you know, Facebook shuts the reptile community down or tries to. We can still stay in touch and we can still talk about our beloved animals and, you know, even sell stuff. So make sure you click the link in my bio, register, even if you don't post anything yet. But it literally takes three minutes to register. Once we need to, we can definitely link up in that group as well. So our community doesn't fall apart and we can still stay connected internationally. So make sure you uh, click the link in my bio, register, and then if you feel like it, you can just post something or just browse a little bit through the different uh, categories. I hope you like this video. I hope you like Ikido's Peruvian Red Tail Boss. They are really, really beautiful. You really can't get over them. And after one year, you know, this cool size, about 300 grams right now. And you know, eating little fuzzy rats every 10 days and they're really amazing. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you uh, sign up for the uh, Pure Locality platform and I hope I see some of your posts and messages on there pretty soon. So uh, make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, leave a like, share the video, all that good stuff, support the channel, follow me on Instagram, the link will always be in the description of the video. With that being said, I see you on the next video.